Apparently bananas are not bad luck. It's not true. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's mid-February and we're not on the ice. I have been ice fishing. I've been out quite a bit actually. And uh, I haven't posted in a little while. Apologize for that. But uh, I've just found it kind of hard to make some ice fishing videos this season. Uh, I know I got the new snowmobile this year. You guys probably want to see some of that. I've got a ton of video of me riding that thing around using it ice fishing. The thing is sick. We did go up and fish Moosehead at uh, the end of January, but the ice was a little sketchy, so we couldn't really get around where we wanted to. And uh, I didn't really film much because I was just trying to get B-roll shots of stuff because the weekend after that, I was supposed to be going on an epic ice fishing trip to a buddy of mine up to his cabin. It's a remote cabin off grid, like 13 mile snowmobile ride in from the road, packing all the gear in, but it was a little bit of a sketchy situation, so I had to cancel that weekend that Mount Washington hit 100 and negative 109. And it was gonna be like negative 50 degrees with the wind chill that weekend. So I had to call it because it just kind of didn't seem all that safe to me, not knowing where the camp was and there's no cell phone reception trying to find those guys up there. So I backed out and uh, hopefully next year we'll get to do it because it was gonna be such a sick video series. I was gonna have multiple videos on it, but uh, hopefully next year we'll get that out. But today, as you can see, we're not ice fishing, we're walking. I got the waders on, I got the fly rod and the spin rod, and we're going down to the river. I'm honestly thinking I might be able to catch a couple fish down here. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it is mid-February right now. So the water's still probably pretty cold, but today's supposed to be like 45 degrees, and uh, I'm just gonna try some nymphs, maybe get the spin rod a little workout, and then, See if we can get some browns. I really want to catch a couple of browns. So hopefully we will. Stay tuned. Let's get down to the river and see what it looks like. bit of a walk down in here I basically I've walked in as far as I'm gonna walk I'm gonna go down here a little bit further actually but I'm gonna start right here first so I left the big camera back in the um, truck cuz I just didn't want to carry it all the way in here you guys don't even know how much gear it takes to film like an actual decent fishing video with the big camera drones tripods batteries so we're doing it today with two GoPros. We're at the first spot here. I don't even really know what I have for gear. I just kind of tossed stuff in. I didn't really look it over. So I'm definitely gonna start out with a little nymph rig here. Luckily I did pack the nymph box. So we got some options there. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna set something up and uh, we'll start fishing. We'll see what we can get. All right, well, I haven't casted a fly rod here in months so I'm just gonna work this uh, basically basically from this tree down there's a kind of a deeper hole right here we'll see if anybody's home Bottom. Interesting. Guess we're gonna go up this way. Work our way down. <laughs> Come on, brown trout. Eat it, eat it, eat it up. Mmm. -hmm. That was not a fish. Dude, I hate nymphing. Until you catch something, then it's kind of fun. This is my uh, TFO blue ribbon rod that I just have set up only for nymphing. Really? 
I just had it set up for nymphing and uh, it's a 10 foot five weight. I'll link it down below. Come on, buddy. Get at it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So now that I've gone through and nymphed all this, I'm going to do a little crashing and banging down through here with a spinner. This shouldn't work, but if it does, I mean, that'd be pretty sick. This is my JT Panhandler 7 footer with the PC Fun Carbon X2 reel on there that I've been using. I really like this combo. I'll leave it down in the description below, and there's actually promo codes for you guys to use if you want to buy this setup. There are two separate companies that make these, but I have promo codes for both the reel and the rod that'll save you guys some money. Definitely my favorite trout rod at the moment. Dude, what? All right. We might be spinning rod today, boys. On the brand new spinner that's not even available yet. Trout Whisperer Tackle. Let's see if we can get him in. <laughs> I honestly had zero, like expectations that this was actually going to catch something but just because of the water so cold what do we got it's like a brown looks like a brown come on buddy Cool. Well, I mean, we did it. So I was gonna release the spinner in the spring here. I mean, it's basically just a white spinner, but <laughs> apparently it works dead of winter here. Here we go. Whew. Yeah. She is cold, man. See you, buddy. I gotta get out of here. Woo! Yeah, I totally did not expect that on the spinner. So, <laughs> I'd like to still get some on the fly rod, but Jesus. Like I said, this is a new spinner. It's literally just all white. It's got a weighted body here. I got it in two different sizes. I'll probably, I might as well go ahead and release it right now. I got them all made, they're all in stock. So by the time this video gets posted, you'll be able to buy these. Uh, they also got them at the L.L. Bean uh, down in Freeport, if you guys are from Maine. Um, I sent them some of these, so yeah, go check them out. Spinning rods sometimes, like with that nymph rig, I can only, I mean, I could wade out a little ways here, but I can only cast so far, cover so much water with it. With this spinner, you can fish it pretty slow. That's why, oh, no. That's why I put the spinner on versus a spoon. You can usually fish them a little bit slower and still get that blade kicking, especially in current like this. You can fish it real slow and just kind of, just kind of put it along. I must have put that thing right in front of him. Can't imagine they're really chasing it that much, but a couple more casts right up here and then we're gonna move down. Let's try that fly rod again. I want to get one on a fly rod. This is always what happens with me. I got a ton of confidence in a spinning rod. Like I feel like I can really, like I'm just, I know, it seems stupid you just cast and retrieve, but there is sort of techniques to it as far as where you put the bait and how you fish it. It's just like fly fishing. I just feel really confident when I use a spinning rod that I'm putting it in the spot where it needs to be. It just depends if there's fish there that are active or not. But, and this is what usually happens is I'll fish with the fly rod for a minute and I'll pick up the spinning rod, boom, I'll nail one and then I'll just stick to the spinning rod the rest of the day. It's probably just a fluke be honest probably just a fluke or not <laughs> they're hitting it way out it's interesting i thought they'd be kind of closer to the bank uh, this one's pretty he's a pretty boy sick Oh, now I'm wondering what's going on here. Caught both of those fish just about in the same spot. I set up this GoPro here. So apparently they're sitting out there a little further. Probably why I wasn't reaching them with a nymph rod. Dude, same spot. 
they must be stacked right there for some reason. Something's holding them there. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I brought the spinner on. I don't know how many times I've said that in my life fishing before, where I go fly fishing and I bring the spinner on with me. I'm glad I brought the spinner rod. Sick. Look at this, dude. Hook, hook came right out. Sweet. Cool. So I just felt this in my waders. I forgot I put it in here. Apparently bananas are not bad luck. It's not true. Oh my God, dude. Weird, they're holding up out more towards the middle. <laughs> that was not bad. Let's get in the shore before we fall. <sighs> okay. On that same spinner again. Sweet. Bust out fly rod again. What a drift, dude. What a drift. What an absolute drift. Autumn. We got something. It looks like some lettuce and some 30 pound test from an idiot. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, are you kidding me? Precision angling, you've been down here. I know you like throwing these for trout. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. That's crazy, man. That's what we're using. That's what this guy was using. This will take that trash home. And as if this, you know, weight on here this big lead weight wasn't enough we got about one two three four four sinkers on there so yeah what do i gotta do get the spinner rod out again i'm sure it's more that i just suck at nymphing but if they're gonna hit a big fat spinner quarter ounce spinner you'd think they'd hit a size 20 something nymph dude oh that one came off <laughs> what the heck all right let's see what we got for a water temperature here just so you guys at home know what I'm standing in. These are not insulated waders, by the way. They're just the Sims G3, and I got on some Orvis insulated wading pants underneath. I'll link those down below. I really like using them. 30 to 4. 34 degree water temp. That's what we're working with today. You guys got to stick with me here. I'm going to try, try pretty hard to catch fish on this nymph rod. They're liking that spinner, they're gonna get the spinner. As I'm walking back past that first spot where we caught those fish, I can actually see probably right where they were holding there is a rock that I couldn't see before. And if you think I'm not gonna cast a couple more times, you're crazy. Yep. Oh, I lost him. He hit it right here. Hit it right here. Came right off that rock. Yeah. Yep. Right on the back end of that rock right there, I'm just saying. I lost him coming right out. Swung it right over the top. So it might be a little bit better. I think pretty much all these fish were stocked this fall in here. It's a decent one. Uh, yep, that'll do. <laughs> Got a little jaw on him started there. Check him out. Ew. Here he goes. All white spinner. Trout whisper tackle. Link in description. All right, so I'm walking out. I'm gonna hit these spots that we walked past on the way in. The water is more, there's more water up here. 
which uh, it might not be all that good for fishing right now. But back there, probably if I would have kept going downstream, it's just way more mellow down that way. Water's a little bit high, uh, especially for fly fishing off the bank. So probably if I wanted to catch more fish, I could have just stayed down there. And honestly, I probably could have stayed within that like 100 yard spot with that spinner rod, just caught fish all day practically. All right, let's drop in down here, fish this pool. I think I'm feeling good about this spot. There's a lot of water moving down through here, but I bet there's got to be a few fish held up in this pool. So hopefully we're going to find out. Might have too much line. Got him. We got him. Brook trout. Yeah, baby, on the nymph rod. Stay on, baby. <laughs> uh oh, where's my net? Here it is. All right, let's try not to fall here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, just had that feeling, boy. You ate that, you ate that copper drawing that we had on. Let her rank go. Stock brook trout probably from the fall. Pretty, pretty disgusting looking zombie trout, but that's all right. He ate it. Didn't touch the, the uh, midge. But I got a feeling there's probably more than that one sitting in here, so let's see if we can get another one to bite. Yep. <laughs> it's on, baby. It's on. I told you guys I could probably catch a couple up here. So I'm headed out. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I could keep fishing a couple more of these spots and probably catch a few more fish, but I'm totally happy catching those fish that I did. I think we got like eight trout and we missed a few others too. So I was expecting to maybe catch one or two and I would have been super happy with that. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little different video for this time of year. 100% uh, GoPro footage. I'll link all my gear and stuff down in the description below for what I use today. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.